Hello, Luigi Tramontana here from Craft Animations. I am going to show you the uh, Observer Cam Free, which is um, free of charge. Uh, it's included in the base package in the the base uh, in in the Craft Director Studio base package, which is free of charge, as I said. Uh, it doesn't have any parameters, so you don't have to do anything on this one. Just bind it to an input device. Now I have already bound it to a Logitech Dual Action, a gamepad that I like. I will show you the 3DX mouse here also. Uh, but if you have if you don't have any and just want to try it, you can just double click on that and the keyboard comes out. And if you don't uh, have any of these, if it doesn't match your your specific device, you just clear it all and uh, start detecting. So now I want to drive forward with this lever uh, and this thumbstick, sorry. And then I want to move right with this thumbstick right there. And then I want to move up and down with the two buttons. Uh, let's do that again. Retry. Up, down. So those two buttons are bound for up, down. Rotate right, left. That's the, the right thumbstick and rotate up down uh, is my right thumbstick also and then we're done here. We don't have any more to bind. And then I can save it as a start profile here so it uh, comes every time I start up like that. And that's it for now. Uh, I have already created an observer cam here free, so you just hold it in and uh, click on this one. Uh, that's because it came with a scene. And uh, what I do here is uh, let's zoom in on this one and see what it consists of. Now, this little fellow here is obviously a humanoid. It's only there for reference, size reference. So if you want to match. Uh, your specific scene because sometimes some people work in centimeters sometimes some people work in uh, inches etc then uh, these guys need to be scaled to fit your scene it's not automatically done for you and uh, let's hit record here like that grab your input device and start driving so as you see here i pull the push the the left thumbstick that are bound to the front direct forward direction and now I turn it to the left and yeah and I drive with it so you see it see here that as I drive to the, the left and steer at the same time I get this circular motion uh, of course I will go into the camera soon to show you how that looks like but uh, the thing the whole thing here is that uh, um, if if you want to if you want to control this one with a faster speed, then you need to scale this uh, thing here, the, and you scale it with the camera. So you click on the camera and then you scale it. Now this one's six times larger than the original one, and in Maya you need to press S to keyframe it so that um, before you start, otherwise it will just um, jump back to its original and now you will see that this one is six times faster like that and let's actually jump into this camera here and have a look from inside yeah so you see here I am actually controlling this camera inside this viewport here and uh, yeah I can do all these movements uh, forward and backwards and, and have a look around basically in this scene. And the basic workflow is also that, oops, I made a mistake, say, then I just hit record. Now, these are all ordinary keyframes, nothing special about them. So uh, you can go into the graph editor or anything and just uh, uh, just change them, put on animation layers if you like. Uh, so I moved to, to the position where I was satisfied like that and then I hit record. And I can continue from here and uh, do the things I was supposed to do with that uh, particular uh, round there. And that's uh, about it for how you use this camera because that's how easy it is. 
Now if you have multiple cameras you need to know a little bit about these three icons here. This one's unnecessary to know about because that's when you rig vehicles. Uh, this one's also when you rig vehicles. But this one is, uh, if you uncheck this one, then this one will not be keyframed when you hit the record button here. So if you have 10 cameras, well, usually you only have one active. So then you need to uncheck all these keys here and only have key on that 6th or 8th or 10th camera. Uh, right now I want to continue recording here. So I go back to... Uh, this position and uh, the last thing I'm going to show you is uh, how to use it with the 3D connection device. Now this is really interesting here because the 3D connection mouse uh, is like uh, the I have the uh, space explorer here it doesn't matter which one of them you have uh, so I just double click on that and it just um, maps itself to this one because uh, it's actually because uh, this letter here is SP is uh, um, is, is um, in front of 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 uh, the other joystick here so let's close this and see how this works I grab my joystick and off we go yeah so with this one I can actually control everything in a very very nice manner like this. So one of the disadvantages with uh, the free camera um, which you of course can live with if you if you if you're not dependent on it is that you can't change how smoothly you you uh, it reacts to your your control say for example if you want high control then you can increase the the slow motion factor here so increase it to three now we are we are, oh, okay I need to stop it first and uh, then hit record again because now I'm doing a quite difficult passage here and the countdown is much slower of course and uh, now we go and now I have much better control of what I'm doing because I'm uh, almost my, my reaction time has increased so this would be virtually impossible to do in real time uh, so that's what the but say I wanted this kind of control but with much faster reactions well then I ha don't have that possibility with it free because you don't have any parameters to change those things with now when I press stop here and rewind you will see what I mean here then I will have had flown around this much much faster than I did with the with the uh, with with the slow motion factor uh, set on okay so uh, basically this is the the base camera that you can use and it's uh, useful in in many 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 situations but have a look at the the uh, tutorial of the observer cam so uh, you see what the difference is here and I hope you will enjoy this camera. It, it's a lot of fun. Thank you very much.